up, gentlemen? As you know, the Alpha M YouTube channel has a plethora of objectives. Number one, I want you to feel good. I want you to look good. I want you to act like a responsible gentleman. But one of the key aspects to this channel is really helping you sort of embrace this whole like health mentality. Exercising, eating right, taking care of yourself emotionally. These three things are are super important to your overall health but there are some things that could be going on with you that you might not necessarily realize are needing to be addressed and so today I'd like to go over seven hidden signs that you're not as healthy as you think. The good news is that all seven of these things can be addressed they can be fixed but you gotta identify them first starting with number one <laughs> <laughs> excessive flatulence. Now we all have have the toots from time to time, but if you're somebody who regularly experiences excessive gas, maybe your stomach is super bloated, you've got a lot of painful cramps going on, this is a sign that something digestively is going on with you. Number two, <laughs> excuse me, you snore. Snoring is actually a sign that something else is going on. Now, you could have a deviated septum, but most likely you are experiencing some degree of sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is actually dangerous. People can die from that. One of the other downsides of sleep apnea, even if you don't croak, you're not getting proper and adequate rest. You need to make sure that you're going into that deep REM sleep and that you're like seriously like sleeping. But when you experience sleep apnea, your body is always like waking up and it never really gets fully like into the sleep cycle and pattern. And one of the downsides to this is that you're typically always tired. You're always yawning. Number three is your nails. I want you to everybody, everybody, take a look at your nails, right? Fingernails and toenails. Take a look, how do they look? Are they ridged? Are they pitted? Are they a different color? Are they discolored? Are they thick? Are they just like nasty and, and like weird looking? A lot of times nail irregularities have to do with something not right with your diet or the amount of nutrients that you're consuming. You might be deficient in something. You also might have a fungus. Number four is your skin. How does your skin look? How does it feel? because our skin really does tell a lot about our internal health. If your skin is super dry, you may be dehydrated. Your diet may be low in essential fatty acids. And unfortunately, if you are not taking care of your skin with a proper skincare system or routine, chances are you are going to suffer from excessive wrinkles. You're gonna look older and your skin and your face isn't as healthy as it could be or should be. And that's one of the reasons why we've developed Tiege Hanley. Tiege Hanley skincare system is like a health insurance plan for your face. Um, we give you all the essential products that you need because in order to have the healthiest skin possible you got to make sure you're taking care of it and taking care of it means that you got to do certain things you got to use certain products the first thing you need to wash your face twice a day to make sure you're removing all of the dirt the excessive oil to keep those pores squeaky clean you need to exfoliate twice a week what exfoliation does is it helps remove all of the dead old skin and bring fresh new skin and collagen to the surface it also helps keep those pores clean. You also need to moisturize, of course. AM, you need to use something with an SPF of 20 because the sun will beat the living shit out of your skin and your face if you're not careful. And the only way you can protect it is by using a moisturizer that does have some type of SPF in it, at least 20. And at night, you need to make sure that you're giving your face, your skin on your face, what it needs in order to rebuild itself and to make sure that you wake up as handsome, as radiant, and your skin as healthy as possible. Guys, there's a link down below that's going to give you a discount on any of the Tiege Hanley systems that we sell. We sell level one, level two, level three. If you're somebody who has a lot of pimples or breakouts, you should probably check out acne level one or level two. We've got two different Tiege Hanley acne systems. Depending on the severity of your acne and breakouts is really going to determine which system should be for you. Guys, there's a link down below to go check out any of the Tiege Hanley systems that we sell. There's a discount if you hit that link. Gotta make sure that you're taking care of your skin, which happens to be the largest organ on your body. So many of us work out. So many of us do things that we think are going to help us look better and feel better, but we neglect our skin. Um, you got to take care of it, guys, because we've only got one skin. And if you're not doing something to actively like prevent like aging and, and just looking rough, it's going to sneak up on you. And at that point, it's a lot harder to reverse. And so take care of it now and look amazing then. The fifth sign you're not as healthy as you you may think is bad <sighs> breath. If you 
have been told that your breath smells like you just ate a turd burger, gentlemen, chances are something's going on inside. Once again, it's about digestion or eating something that's not necessarily agreeing with you. Um, or it could mean that you've got poor oral hygiene. Bad breath is a symptom. It's not necessarily like the problem. It's a, well, actually, that's not true. It's a problem for everybody who talks to you. A lot of times, bad breath is a symptom of something else going on with your body. Whether or not it's poor oral hygiene, you got like issues with your gums or you've got digestive issues, you got to make sure you figure it out because nobody wants to talk to somebody who's got nasty shit breath. I know that for a fact. Six sign that you are not as healthy as you may think is if you've got... Ah! Hang on, I got a cramp, Charlie Horace, what? Muscle cramps. If you're somebody who gets muscle cramps in the middle of the night, or you just get like spasms and you're like, ah, crap, my, hit my hamstring, my calf, my muscle, my this, my that. If you are getting cramps, chances are something's off. And last, but certainly not least, the seventh hidden sign that's not really hidden, that you are not as healthy as you think you are, your body fat percentage is over 25%. I hate to be the bearer of bad body fat news, but the truth is if you have a body mass or body fat percentage over 25%, that puts you in like the obese category. And it's not good. Um, um, it doesn't matter if you're like 25 and a half. It doesn't matter if you're 35 and a half. You got to get it under control. That may mean that actually not may. You got to diet. You got to eat right. You got to exercise. And having a body fat over 25% puts you at increased risk of a lot of other diseases and issues. And so do something about it because I know you can. Is it easy? No. Is it critical that you do so that you're around watching my super fine videos? Yes. <laughs> plus, plus your family who loves you, they probably want you to hang around a while. Guys, thanks for watching. I think you are amazing.